Remember a few days ago when the internet buzzed with a strange, thought-provoking balloon-headed video? I am literally filled with hot air. Yeah, living like this has its challenges. At first glance, everyone was amazed by the creativity and the seamless execution. After all, it was a whole video generated entirely by none other than Sora AI. Within days, the video exploded online. People were sharing, analyzing it, and discussing the implications of AI generating such realistic and emotionally resonant content. Sora AI became the talk of the town, and for good reason, it became clear that 2024 was the year AI truly changed everything. Just days after, a new video surfaced, this time featuring a deflated version of the same character. Tonight, we sit down for the first time face to face. How are you? <sighs> Deflated. The technical term is Helios Leticulus. This new video, Deflated, is a companion piece to Airhead Shy Kids' first experiment with OpenAI's Sora, this time combining real-world actors and locations with Sora-generated videos. If you're still among those who think this is not a big thing, think again, because the market for AI video generation tools is on a tear, with estimates suggesting a jump from $423 million in 2022 to a whopping $1.5 billion by 2029. This means that the video market is only growing and growing. From small producers to big companies and agencies, AI video generation will be everywhere in the next couple of years. Just last month, it provided the trippy visuals for the song World Wait by musician August Camp. And now, director Paul Trillo from LA has made the first official music video using Sora. The four-minute video is a bunch of cool fly-through scenes made up of 55 clips created by Sora from text inputs. Trillo put them all together using Adobe Premiere Pro software with only a few small adjustments. In the video, you'll catch glimpses of young characters and interesting places, but they're only on screen for a short time. Sometimes you might see strange body angles, weird movements, or odd camera tricks. It's hard to tell if these quirks are meant to be there or if they're just mistakes in the video making process. Either way, it's a neat video for a catchy tune. If you're wondering how this is even possible and how AI creates these amazing videos just from text descriptions, then watch our video on the card where we explain everything from start to finish about how these AI models work. Recently, Sora announced some exciting new features that significantly enhance its capabilities beyond simple text-to-video conversion. With Sora, you can now not only create videos from text, but also edit them to fit your creative vision. For instance, you can take full control over camera and protagonist movements within AI-generated videos, allowing for dynamic and personalized storytelling. Sora's in-painting and looping video features help create seamless animations, while its ability to transform specific objects in a video without altering the rest of the scene adds a new level of flexibility. Additionally, Sora can extend videos backward in time, generating perfectly looping animations that start and end with the same frame. I am thinking of making a separate video about Sora's new features, so let me know if you want to see it or not. So now the question is, when is Sora going to be released? Because it's hard to wait any longer. In an interview, Mira Murati, the CTO of OpenAI, mentioned that Sora, OpenAI's text-to-video AI model, is expected to be publicly available this year indicating it should be released within the next few months. Furthermore, when the interviewer asked where the data for training Sora came from, Muradi gave a somewhat unclear response. She said, Publicly available data and licensed data. So, videos on YouTube? I'm actually not sure about that. Okay. Videos from Facebook, Instagram? You know, if they were publicly available, um, available, yeah, publicly available to use, um, there might be the data, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not confident about it. Sora won't be available for everyone until later this year. But even before its official release, it's giving us a sneak peek into its capabilities through some pretty fascinating demos. One such demo is a futuristic video that imagines what TED Talks might look like four decades from now. To make this cool first-person view drone-style video, 
TED Talks collaborated with OpenAI and filmmaker Paul Trillo. They've been experimenting with Sora since February, and the result is mind-blowing. The video takes you on a wild ride through futuristic conference halls, quirky labs, and even underwater tunnels. Well, what do you think? Share your views, and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.